Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be presenting a video on how to divide decimals using base 10 blocks. In this video, we will review base 10 blocks and we will divide decimal numbers with base 10 blocks. Let's start our review of the base 10 blocks. The first base 10 block is a flat. The flat has a value of 1. The second base 10 block is a rod, and a rod has a value of 1 tenth. The third base 10 block is a cube, and a cube has a value of 1 hundredths. Let's continue our review of base 10 blocks. Here we have some flats, some rods, and some cubes. What decimal number do these base 10 blocks represent? Pause the video. Let's see if we have the same answer. Here we have four flats, two rods, and five, six, six cubes. All together we have four and twenty-six hundred. I will now demonstrate how to divide a whole number by a decimal number using base 10 blocks. This is our first division. We have 3 divided by 5 tenths. Try to estimate. Do you think the answer will be a whole number or a decimal number? This is a great time to have a class discussion. Pause the video. We will see the first step on how to divide 3 by 5 tenths. The first thing we must do is represent the dividend using base 10 blocks. Here we have 1 flat, 2 flats, and 3 flats. After we've completed the first step, we must now proceed to the second step. We shall create groups of 5 tenths with the three flats. Let's start creating groups of five tenths. In my first flat I have two groups of five tenths. In my second flat I also have two groups of five tenths. And my third flat also has two groups of five tenths. In order to find the answer we must see how many groups of five tenths we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Three divided by five tenths is six. We will now see how to divide a decimal number by a whole number. Before I demonstrate how to divide a decimal number by a whole number, first try to estimate the answer. Do you think the answer will be a whole number or a decimal number? Now that you know how to use base 10 blocks, practice and try to find the answer. In order to find the answer, the first thing we must do is represent the dividend, which is 4 and 2 tenths, with base 10 blocks. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 tenths. Now that we've represented 4 and 2 tenths, we must create 3 equal groups with 4 and 2 tenths. So we have 1, 2, 3, and here we see that we have a problem. The next step is to create 3 equal groups with 1 and 2 tenths. Once we've separated 1 and 2 tenths in 3 equal groups, each group has a value of 4 tenths. Once we've separated 4 and 2 tenths in 3 equal groups, each group has a value of 1 and 4 tenths. The answer is 1 and 4 tenths. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching. Created using Powtoon.